Hello everyone, today I want to show you uh, a pretty new game called Tidal Tribe. This is a relaxing good simulator or supposed to be, because well it's pretty hard to understand what to do. First of all the main goal of uh, the game is uh, to create lakes and uh, rivers so there will be vegetation in this desert uh, terrain the first unlogical thing is that uh, you will have water from the sea the, the tidals will fill up lakes uh, also it will be lakes which is pretty illogical salt water not really good for for life well land life it is pretty good for aquatic life but that's another case so as you can see there are some tidal waves which fill up uh, holes with waters you need to create some main or high land so the water not flowing back to the ocean <coughs> And okay, let's create some path for it. Uh, the tab opens some uh, information spanners. The goal of the game is uh, to create some vegetation. There are different type of trees, palms and brushes. Each uh, require different uh, each has different requirements like uh, it determines how far should be from the Z and uh, on which altitude can it grow which far from the water and how much sunlight does it need it is a bit annoying because it is very hard to create the requ required uh, requirements on the map these uh, you can filter everything on the, your map, you can find your trees. You can filter satisfaction. And there are other filters. This red dot shows the uh, bungalow, the houses of your citizens. It should be green because uh, citizens uh, don't like high altitude or the buildings on high altitude right now it is nearly impossible to make it green that's very very annoying it's i don't understand why citizens can't live on high altitude this is far from high but it's still not acceptable from the game but if you lower them then it's always back uh, gets flooded so it is very annoying the game should be relaxing but uh, there are a lot of annoying parts and it is very hard to understand what to do there are more areas for tides as you can see the tide again flooded the, the houses and the game claim it's still on too high altitude, it's bad. Well, in this area, as I created some water, the vegetation is started. Another 
problematic thing is this you can see this white circle on the middle of the screen this determines uh, different uh, uh, terrain changing methods in the tutorial you can see the name of uh, this uh, circ different circles in one of the corner so you can figure out what each one doing but uh, in the regular game outside of tutorial it isn't there anywhere so sometimes it's hard to figure out which one you need and while well, I wanted to create some flat area this is this wasn't that it's just in, it's very hard to figure out which one you need or you want to use the main goal is create as many leaks as many you can Okay, and as you progress with the game, you will have uh, food reserves here in the meat. I still don't have many, the citizens not collected enough, but as you collect, uh, you can upgrade uh, each uh, food type and uh, you chase different upgrades. It will uh, give you more wood, so your citizens can build more houses or the fruits need less watering, there will be more fruit on each uh, tree and so on, so they are very useful upgrades. This is a very time consuming game, it needs a lot of time to create a proper environment on each map and it is very hard to create the proper environment I actually nearly never managed to create proper attitude for the houses yet it's never enough low and then it's always get flooded it is actually very annoying the main positive of the game that you well it's actually charming you can spend a lot of time uh, with it if you like this kind of game and the music is pretty relaxing so if you like to spend some time to create your own island and own uh, terrain have some earthlings while you are being their god then this is a pretty good uh, game for you i must to tell you that uh, i not really enjoy this game I have some issues with it. It's really hard to understand what to do. It's really hard to create proper environment. So you really need to invest a lot of time to understand the manics. It is really hard to create a proper environment. So proper terrain for the tree you want to create. So this is the tidal tribe. As I not uh, like the game quite much, I just showed some part of the game. There is a pretty huge and uh, long campaign for the game. 
so it's definitely worth the price if you up for such games. There are 25 achievements too, they look quite hard, it, it's not that easy to, that, uh, to get all achievements in the game. So this was the game, I have no pretty nice trees, the lakes paid off. I believe I could now purchase some upgrades. Yes, I can upgrade the cocoa. It's pretty nice for the long run. And yeah, that's it again. You can find the useful information, how to be a winner and some guides. You can find the information about the society. This should uh, influence your game as well and information about uh, the people in the campaign you should uh, reach some determinate score on each map to finish the that map and uh, then progress with the game and it shows the in the world needs satisfaction I just started this map so this is pretty low your goal is to fulfill all these needs and increase the happiness of the citizens. As I said already, it is a pretty uh, complex game. I hope you like the video. I hope you will enjoy this game if you decide to purchase it. It has a potential, but uh, uh, it's, I believe it needs some uh, simplification to be more enjoyable it uh, it it needs uh, easier to grow for planes and well I'm not sure how to explain that well okay let's leave it This is pretty enjoyable game, as I said already, re with relaxing music. It worth its price. If you purchase it, I believe you will enjoy it if you like such games. If you don't like such games, then don't purchase, obviously. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was Tiber Tidal Tribe. Please don't forget to subscribe.